Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this part, we will insert our data to our Firebase database. In our previous tutorial, we design our layout and we set we and we create our Firebase database reference and we we add our Firebase authentication and we separate our user. So we create two database. And in this part now, we need to set our data to our Firebase database. So inside our button now we need to add a string id m income database dot push dot get key this push dot get key will create a random id inside our m income database now a string m date we need to generate a date and we can call it date format dot get date instance dot get date instance there is a lot of format but we need that date instance What was that uh, so we need to add get that format and going to be new new that format and we need to pass dot and I think we need to create it again so we can call it string m that so that format dot get that instance dot format and now we need to add new that and that's it so this way we will get our current date and we'll, we can insert it to our firebase database so now create an object of our model class our model class name was data so data is going to be data is equal to new data and in here we need to and in this construct par par parameter we need to pass our all this required field so we can see our amount our type our note our id and our date so open this fragment and in here we need to pass our first we need to pass our amount make sure that we change this integer string to integer and add type and add note then id and m dash And now m income database dot set first need to add child and this child is going to be our id that we are generated using push and get key and inside this id we need to set our value so we can call it set value and data now we can show a toast message we can call it toast dot make text get activity and we can call it data edit and toast dot Landshot dot show. So we added all this functionality for inside our data to our database. So we create a and now we need to dismiss our dialog. So we can call it dialog dot dismiss. So when we will click the save button, our dialog will invisible. So now run this application and now we can see. So here is our emulator over there and hit this button and click this one and in here we need to add some amount we can call it so add amount 500 and we can call it type is going to be salary and add few note whatever you want we can call it simply i got salary and save this button and we can see data added and open this firebase and we can see in here our data is added and this is our income database and inside this income database we added our user key and after that we added a random key and this random key and inside this random key we can see our all this data now if you open our user then we can see our user id and this is our id inside our inside our income database and this is our income database so now insert one more field and insert one more amount we can call it 7000 and add we can call it payment and add few note we can call it from client and save and we can we will see one more id and just refresh this and refresh this database
and now we can see two id and two data so this one is for payment and this one type was salary so we successfully edit our data inside our firebase database and we create unique user and inside your unique user, unique user key id we added our data